We're at Heritage Regional High School for Real Canada. Our guest today, Mehdi Hamdad. Bonjour. <laughs> uh, you're the MC for Real Canada. Uh, what is Real Canada? Real Canada is an organization that shows Canadian films in schools across the country. Now, so for example, for today, which is National Canadian Film Day, uh, there are over there are about 200 events that are going on from Nova Scotia to British Columbia. And the whole idea is to expose Canadian cinema, to expose uh, the citizens of this country to the works that are the works of arts that are done here by Canadian filmmakers, which of course tragically are often unseen. Do you think it's uh, very effective for the students to see these Canadian films like this? You know, it's it's wonderful because most students don't realize why they don't see so many uh, many Canadian films, right? Which mostly has to do with promotional budgets, and so the effect that uh, it has upon the students to realize how uh, amazing uh, Canadian films are is uh, it's wonderful because it's more empowering because they, they they feel oh my God, this person is from I don't know like Montreal, for example. And these, it's easier for themselves to see themselves in those shoes. Hence, it can create vocations for next filmmakers and also, and also for a whole a new generation of uh, film buffs, Canadian film buffs, you know. So it is effective. I've seen the smiles, I've seen the cheers and the claps and the, and the, the drop jaws, the, <laughs> the, the, the eyes full of awe and everything. So it's, it's a very privileged position that I find myself in to be presenting these amazing works of art to such a, an enthusiastic crowd, you know. What is it like going, you know, to different schools, uh, presenting these movies, showing them that they are Canadian and that it's made by us? Well, you know, it's fascinating because every school is different, right? And yet th there are always similarities. But it's interesting how the same way that schools are different because the students in there have different narratives about their lives, uh, different backgrounds, different uh, everyday happenings, and that diversity uh, is reflected in the content of the Canadian films. So it's really empowering uh, for the youth and inspiring for me as well to see those narratives being reflected on the screen and in the crowd as well. You know, so ultimately, it's like this. You know, a movie is is a story, right? And and the to see those stories being put on the silver screen, so to speak. Uh, entices the students to realize that their own story, in a sense, is, is on the screen. That their own story is worth uh, the same uh, artistic uh, process, that the same, uh, has the same potential of universal appeal that uh, Canadian films have, you know? What does all this mean to you? Like, how, how has uh, Real Canada affected your life? Well, on a very simple personal level, uh, the team of people at Real Canada are, are really, they're really nice, super passionate people. Jack Bloom and Sharon Corder, which started Real Canada, are uh, absolutely welcoming, super apt in their field. They know what they're talking about. They're, they're, they're immensely passionate about it. So it's hard not to be swept along, in a sense, because they, they believe in it and they, they, they trust you and they take care of you. So, as a sort of, uh, now I've been with Real Canada for a few years, there's a sort of family vibe to it. So uh, that's what Real Canada represents to me on an emotional level, on an everyday life level. And again, uh, being, having the, the honor of being an MC for uh, these events, which are in a sense a certain, uh, they're like a cultural passing, right? I get to be presenting works of art that are inspiring and beautiful, and, and, and I get to inspire youth with them. So Real Canada to me represents empowerment and inspiration and vision because it's all about the films that have been made and also the generations of film goers that will see them time and th uh, after time, you know. Uh, are you happy, you know, presenting this, uh, these films to students, you know, their reactions? Are you happy with what you do as oh, being yeah. the MC? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I love being an MC. Being an MC is really, it's funny because in French, MCing um, is called uh, animation, animating, right? And if you look in the dictionary, to animate something is to uh, put life into it, right? So that's what, just what you do as an MC. You just 
you just shake up the life in the room, right? And so what's really interesting is, again, the, the, the perspective of the youth, of the people that are watching the film, the questions they'll ask, the things that will interest them, the things they will react to. Every audience laughs at different spots, you know, for example, in a comedy. And also, uh, one great pleasure for me is to uh, host the Q&As with members of the film cast, be it the screenwriter, an actor, a director, and whatnot. And so it's fascinating to see the interplay between uh, the students and the questions they'll ask, and to see the, the person who's uh, the, the, invite, the guest artist to, to the, the answers that will come out of them. You know, it's, so it's always very unique, right? Depending, depending on who's in the crowd asking what question. So that element of personalized, uh, unpredictable, uh, content and, and, and moments is really, really uh, stimulating to me. I love it. Um, besides being the MC for Real Canada, you're also uh, a musical artist and an actor on the side. Can mm -hmm. you tell us a little bit about that? Well, no, <laughs> no it, it's true. So, you know, uh, I have a band called Medica and Club, and I'm, I'm working on my third album that I'm going to release next fall. And, uh, and I'm also an actor. I do, I've done more theatrical work, but, you know, you know, and, uh, and I've done a lot of spoken words. So the thing is, I'm, al I'm always on the road as well, uh, you know, sharing my art and sharing these moments with people. So it's really copacetic with Real Canada's mission, which is also going on the road and sharing Canadian culture um, and the multiplicity of narratives and perspectives that are contained within Canadian culture as well, you know. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank yeah, you thank for talking you very with much. us. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Excellent interview. Thank, thank you. you so much.